the Nikon booth here at the Quality Expo in Chicago. I'm with Dave Robinson, the CMM Product Marketing Manager for Nikon. That's right, that's right. And what are we going to be looking at today? Today we've got the new Altura range of machines from Nikon Metrology and Cameo software that goes with the range. And what, what, what makes these stand apart from uh, your, your, other, uh, your other models? Okay, the, 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 the difference on this model here now is that we have multi-sensor technology as standard on the machine, okay. which gives us the benefit of both technologies that are normally available separately. And what is that? What is that buying for you? I mean, uh, multi-sensor is pretty has been around for a while. Have you guys uh, had it in your earlier products? Or? Now we've truly tied the two together, so it's easy for users to swap between technologies or even upgrade their system as new technologies come along. When you say it's been built with scanning and, and so forth in mind, what do you what do you mean by that? Okay, so traditionally CMMs use the Touch Trigger probe, which is good for general inspection and can measure most features. Scanning probes, with, which are tactile, have come along recently, and they give other benefits for getting a lot of data very quickly for, from the CMM. But they have limitations uh, in terms of productivity when you come to a complex surface. So the laser scanner gives you much more productivity on a complex surface like this. Because it's faster? Because it's faster at collecting it more the data. Points. Okay, right. So the three technologies have their own individual benefits. Right. When you put them together, you extend the scope of the CMM. It's okay. much, more, much more flexible. Well, when, when, you, when you put a scanner on, on a CMM, uh, are you still constrained by the speed that you would typically use for, let's say, when you're scanning with a touch probe? No, I mean, no, no. You get much more data in a much shorter time. Okay. So, so what, what about the actual the motion of the machine itself? Can the, can the machine move faster if you're, if you're well, scanning? You, you, with the machine, normally the machine moves quite quickly in between the measurements with a touch probe, okay. and the measurement is very slowly. Okay. Yeah, but with a laser scanner, we're using the maximum, almost maximum machine speed all okay. the time. Okay, so, so you, don't have, you don't have to slow it down. You, to take slow it down. you okay, can right, see right. here, it's, you could think it's just moving, but it's actually measuring. Okay. It's moving and measuring. All right. Um, and another benefit on this system, uh, on the new controller technology, is that that's a continuous motion. So okay. again, traditionally, CMMs tend to stop, start, stop, start. Right. Um, and that's not so efficient as continually moving, collecting data. Okay. And you could swap out this uh, the scan pro for a regular touch pro. Exactly. Okay. And the, the same inspection program could be used. So if a customer starts off with a touch pro, and then they want to get more productivity from the machine or okay. get more data, they can just put on a scanning probe or a laser scanner, and the same inspection or program will run, just with a slight modification on some settings. Okay. One, if you move on to the machine one, one of the aspects of the machine yeah. is the material. This material is quite unique within the CMM industry. Okay. Um, it's ceramic. Right. Uh, a lot of competitors use aluminium. Right. Or aluminum. <laughs> yeah. uh, and aluminum right. tends to be less stable over time. Right. In, in, and these machines go in working environments, so temperature changes and temperature shifts affect the accuracy of the machine. So ceramic is the preferred. So material, ceramic yeah. is a very stable machine, right. um, not only in temperature shifts but over a long period of time. You know, and we, we guarantee the accuracy of these machines for ten years. We guarantee that the the, the accuracy of the machine. Do, gives on day one okay. will still be there after 10 years. Okay. If not, we will put that right. right. What you find on an aluminium machine is that it will nat naturally stress relieve and change over time. The accuracy will change and at the, the, the annual calibration period, the manufacturer will just say, okay, you've got a different accuracy number now and he'll leave the oh, machine no. <laughs> right. Or he'll charge the customer for the corrective action, which right. could be a day or two to re remap the machine or change components. Okay. So that's a benefit of the structure, if you like. Okay. Um, and uh, what about software? Software here is a new product as well, that's Cameo 8, and that has all of the multi-sensor capability built into Cameo. Okay, and what, what makes it um, what makes it multi-sensor when you say multi-sensor capability? I okay, mean. so the user can easily switch from one sensor technology to the next, okay. and not have the burden of understanding the different techniques of using that technology. Oh, because in, in, in the past you might have had to work with a probe differently than you worked with a, a with a scanner, for exactly. instance. Exactly. Okay. So now all of the, the intelligence is built into the, the into the software, all the control, all the actual sensor itself. Okay. So it's a really straightforward process for the user. Okay. Uh, is there something that you can you can show us with the software? Okay. So here we are. We can see David's loading in the CAD model of the part, and he wants to inspect that freeform surface to know if there's any deviation in the surfaces. So he's going to use some of the programming tools and selecting. To, to program a series of scans back and forth over the entire surface. Selects the zone that he's interested in measuring. Can add and remove zones. So the areas in yellow are the areas he's, he's going to measure? He, those, yeah, okay. those are the ones he's interested in. So right. he can enter some parameters. 
the software then calculates the, the probe path. Now what is, what is this we're looking at now then? Okay, so you're looking at the, in, the, at the entire scan path to measure that entire surface. So the software has looked at what probe or what sensor is being used. It's determined the spacing that's necessary. It's maintaining the optimum uh, position of the scanner so that we collect data all the time during the scan. And it's, and it's optimized the scan in terms of maintaining a, 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 a smooth path through the motion. And then it'll use a different path depending on whether you're using a, a touch probe or a scanner, right? Yeah, different okay. scanner with okay. different parameters, you get a different program. Okay, all right. Okay. So the program's now ready. Clicks OK, and then the machine moves off. Oh, and starts, and starts doing scanning. Okay. You can see it's all in one continuous motion, which is the most efficient way to collect that data. We're collecting, I'll uh, look it up, but it's about... Yeah. 70,000 points per second. Okay. We've got our stripe line there of, yeah, 60 millimeter stripe, uh, 70,000 points per second. Okay. And as those points are being collected, the laser's processing them on the fly so that there's only good data that's returned back to the user. Right. And you can see the users, even though we've got different reflectivity on these different surfaces, there's no adjustment for the user. That's all built into the scanner as well. It's adjusting the intensity of the laser on the fly for each one of those 70,000 points. Ah, okay. That was going to be a, my, we're, we're actually scanning a fairly shiny part yeah, here. It's, uh, so you can imagine, you've got that line of 1,000 points going along yeah. like that. For each one, it's adjusting the intensity. Okay. 70,000 right. a second. Okay. Both the, 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 the machine and the software kind of the, uh, the guiding principle there was just to make life easier for the, for the operator, for the programmer. And also the, the, the time. Oh, the speed, yeah, yeah, to it, speed it up, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. obviously okay. time's critical, time's, time's money. <laughs> right. So yeah, ease of use and, and, uh, and productivity. Okay, so now the scan's complete, all of the data is processed back to Cameo, and David can now do some analysis with that. So all those uh, thousands of points have been compared to the CAD model. The areas of red and, and of blue are considered out of tolerance, and if we want to analyze those out of tolerance areas and get some dimensional deviations, we simply click on them and pull out a flyer, and we can see the material condition oh, high okay. or low. Right. Yeah. Okay, so. And that's just basically <laughs> point and drag then? I mean, yeah, just okay. point and drag. Yeah, okay. So yeah. instantly you get a yes, no answer with the color map, and now okay. you can do some further analysis if you need that. So another thing just for your, you know, customers sometimes slice these components okay. and want to look at the profile put, put around this area because maybe someone's going to mate with it. Oh, okay, right. And, and the odd point here and there doesn't tell them whether it's going to mate. Right, It's right. that profile that's important. Yeah. So we just select the uh, axis of, the, of that cut. And the result is a profile which we can then view. So we've just turned off the other layers that we were looking at. We're just adding a bit of color variation into it now. Well, that's fine. So here David's adjusting the color map so he can configure the colors he wants to, to warn him when, when things are out of okay. tolerance. And minimize those colors if, if it's too oh, much information. Okay, I see. Yeah. So now, now it's showing you're getting, you're getting color based on the deviation yes. from the nominal. Yeah. Okay. And you're getting your little whiskers there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ah. Cool. So, so kind of the, the upshot of the whole thing is uh, a, a machine that's been designed, machine and software that's been designed from the ground up to work more efficiently within a multi-sensor environment. Yeah, Do I have and that right? not only that, within a multiple environments. Sometimes okay. they go in a nice clean room. Oh, sure. So and other time they'll go in a factory so, environment. Oh, so that's another point. So this works well on the shop floor Absolutely, as well. Absolutely. Yeah. And one of the benefit, and that's one of the benefits of the ceramic technology. So it's a very stable material okay. in, in an, a range of environments, and we can easily correct for any errors that come from the materials. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. Dave Robinson okay. of Nikon. All right. And that was it. Thanks. Back to you, Mike.